another one of my favorite ways to, uh, to enter into the body lock is uh, whenever my opponent goes from a supine back to a seated position. So we're gonna start out standing over our opponent. Okay, we're gonna match head levels. And from here, I'm gonna start reaching for a shoulder post with my right arm as my left arm comes down towards the ankle. Now from here, I'm just gonna look to lift his ankle as I push on his shoulder to get him supine. Now, if he stays supine, there's no reason why we can't start throwing legs by and getting, uh, getting to his hip line. So a very common reaction you're gonna get is as you put him down supine, he's gonna go to start to sit up. Now, as he goes to sit up, okay, the way I'm gonna level change is by sprawling my right leg back. So as he goes to, to start sitting up slowly, okay, from here, my right arm is gonna look to insert as a tight waist, and at the same time, I'm level changing down by sprawling this right hip through. Now from here, once again, we get our long arm and our short arm, and then we use our head to start driving our opponent's shoulders uh, down towards the mat. Repeat. Now, once we're in here, okay, we have our right leg sprawled, we're gonna start to circle out towards our left hand side to bring this knee down. Now, sometimes, even when you circle out, it's very difficult to get over that knee, but one thing I really like to do, okay, and this is, this is very good for people with long arms, is I'll keep my hands locked and I'll look to transfer this elbow inside of his thigh. Now from here, I can continue circling out towards my left hand side and I can look to pin his leg uh, using my elbow. Now from here, it's gonna make it much easier for me to start stepping up with my left leg. Once again, once our knee covers his, left knee drops into the pocket of the hip and I look to start transferring my head across towards the far shoulder as I take my right knee off the mat. 